What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today, I want to talk about Golden State not signing Dwight. Right? That was my original like idea for the video. But then, that made me think about something. It made me think about like why it ain't really no... <coughs> excuse me. Why well, ain't really no vets in the league for real like that, right? So I'm gonna start off with the Dwight thing, right? Like, I feel like I don't understand like how they like I don't I don't understand like them not signing him. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't see them having twelve guys better than Dwight. You know what I'm saying? And even historically, I feel like they kind of fumbled their centers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had JaVale. They kind of just let him go. They want to chip with him. They just kind of let him walk. Then, boom, he go to the Lakers, want another chip. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> they, let, um, they let Big Fella go. The... Uh, I cannot think of his name right now. The one they drafted when they was bad, then they drafted him, young fella. They let him go to the Pistons. You know what I'm saying? They basically chose, it felt like they chose a pool over him, but then they got rid of pool. So, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like Golden State kind of has fumbled big men a little bit, pause, right? So I, I understand that. But then it made me think like, well, it just seemed like there's really no vets in the league for real like that. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like a guy who was, you know, might be better than their current role that can help the young guys out. You know what I'm saying? Like outside of UD and uh, in Miami, there's really no vets. But I feel like that helps with the development of the next generation when you have somebody who, like an Eagle Dollar, right, who was like star on the cusp of being a star, but then kind of took a lesser role and then just kind of fit in, right? He just kind of was like they... Switch army knife type guy, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like more teams need those type of players. You know what I'm saying? Like, it helps the development of the next the next era. You know what I'm saying? Like, having that, that vet there, it helps. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, I feel like most, pretty much all good teams got, like, a, like dynasty-ish teams. Or consistently good teams always have like prime players, veteran players, and some young players. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the league is super young. Super young. And I feel like that's the, 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 the imbalance that it, it needs to correct. And there's like plenty good vets out there that's not even in the league. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now... As far as the white go as being that vet, I think sometimes maybe his um his on court demeanor has kind of stained his what well, people's perception of him. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but even like Melo not in the league, like it's not four hundred and fifty dudes <laughs> better than Melo, definitely. Uh, if you got a number, and that's another thing about a vet, right? Melo has been a number one guy for pretty much his whole career. So he could take a, 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 a say, an Ingram, you know what I'm saying, like a player that, a, a similar type of player uh, or a, um, a Julius Randle, you know what I'm saying, under his wing, and, and he can learn something. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... I feel like that's what <clears throat> I feel like the league missing that. That's another one is like the Marcus Cousins. 
You cannot tell me the Marcus Cousins shouldn't be on the NBA roster right now. There's nothing. No. Mm -mm. Prime DeMarcus Cousins had a very similar skill set to Jokic. The difference was his he was more he had like a Draymond Green type of attitude, right? But the thing with that is, you put Draymond on a winning team. Oh, he he's a leader. He's a you know what I'm saying? He he get his team fired up. You put Draymond on the bad team, now he a cancer. Because the culture. You know what I'm saying? The culture. Steve Kerr gonna let Draymond be Draymond. You know, sometimes you gotta pull Draymond back, but at the most part, you gonna let Draymond be Draymond. That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get everybody riled up and then Stephen Clay gotta come cash the checks for it. You know what I'm saying? That's and, and it works. Right? But I'm just saying that to say, like, it's no way that DeMarcus Cousins shouldn't be in the league. I just don't. DeMarcus Cousins, Dwight, and Melo was three players that, from a talent standpoint and from a leadership standpoint, could be in the league. It, you can't tell me there ain't nothing Dwight can't teach a big when you was the best big, most dominant big in the league for, for a stretch and you only wasn't due to injury. You know what I'm saying? That's you just never got back to yourself after that back injury. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't tell me it ain't nothing he can't teach a big. So yeah, man, I just don't understand why the why the league don't why it's like got it's like it got a vendetta against veterans. But uh, I think a reason, another reason why I think the NBA it not just the I'm saying the NBA. And when I say the NBA, I don't mean the NBA, like, specifically, like, Adam Silver got a, a, a vendetta against Vets, but, like, it could be teams. And I think the issue with the teams is young coaches, right? So you put a vet on another one, Rondo. Rondo is a basketball savant. Rondo is he got one of the highest basketball IQs. In NBA history, there's nothing you cannot tell me he can't be on the roster helping some young guard. In a point guard driven, small ball guard heavy league, you cannot tell me it ain't nothing that Rondo can't be teaching some young guard. It's nothing. You can't tell me that. And you can't tell me he ain't good enough to still be in the league. Come on, Rondo, one of them dudes that can just hoop forever. Just. Just, you know what I'm saying? Some people got that timelessness to them where they can just hoop forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? But what I think it comes to is that the league is younger from a player perspective, right? The league is younger from a coaching perspective. And the, the old vets not you like <laughs> – you can't just tell me anything, right? I've been here before. You know what I mean? So, I think ch being challenged from a player and coaching standpoint makes everybody better, right? But I think part of the reason why there's no vets is because these young coaches don't want to be challenged. You know what I'm saying? But it's like with some with sometime with conflict, your relationship grow, and with that growth comes respect. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you might need like even if you look at like Spolstra and Jimmy when they butted heads and UD had to come in there and like break it up. Well, I think UD was really trying to fight <laughs> Butler. But that they group, they didn't, they cool, they good, right? A little conflict, all right. Sometimes it takes this is a competitive sport. It's a competitive emotional sport. Sometimes it's gonna be conflict. You know what I'm saying? But after that, you sit down as grown men, you have a conversation, you talk about it, and you grow. Cause everybody wants as long as everybody wants the same thing, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It can be figured out. Everybody, if it's all about we wanna win. 
we just got a, a, a difference of opinion on what's the best way for us to do that, then we can we can come to we meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of these young coaches don't they don't want that smoke with, with these vets because you know what I'm saying. You got to think like it's like the old school culture versus the new school. You know what I'm saying? Old school was that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't want to deal with like a stack on the type type demeanor on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody you can't just tell anything. Like, no. Can't just tell me anything, right? Or if the coach say something, the, the, the player got an opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's what I think, man. I think it's something with these they don't want them vets around, man. They trying to they trying to just turn the page, man. They trying to create a whole new culture or cultureless NBA. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.